Hey guys, Shocker from Shocky e Tech, and in today's video, we have some great new updates for Samsung Galaxy smartphones. We have some new features and enhancements to a powerful tool. Now, the tool I'm talking about is the One Handed Operation Plus tool that allows you to do things like this, okay? So, we have some new updates to that particular tool. So, to get the update, you want to go to Goodlock Application. Let me show you where that is. So, you go to Goodlock Application. And when you go to Life Up at the bottom, right over here, you scroll down, and here's the module that has gotten the new update. There is three new things I'm going to show you in this video. So to get the update, what you want to do is you want to click the link down below. Once you click the link, you are going to be at my website. You do want to scroll down. If you already have the Goodlock application, you can skip the first link. That's just for the Goodlock application. To get the update for the One Hand Operation Plus, you want to click this link right here that's going to open the Galaxy Store and you are able to update One Hand Operation Plus. If I scroll down, we have a list of what's new, three or four things. I'm going to show you exactly what they are. And if I scroll down a little bit more, you can see this is going to be version number 6.9.23. So let's see what's going on. Now, by the way, again, if you don't have the Good Luck module, you're going to need that. So click that link to get it. After you get that, open Good Luck and then go into One Hand Operation Plus after you update it. So it's going to be right here. So One Hand Operation Plus gives you a left handle and a right handle. So as an example, with the left handle, which is right over here, I can do things like this. I can assign things to it and it can take actions based on my swipe direction. Okay, so that is great. So let's go back inside and see what's going on. So number one, I'm going to talk about advanced settings animation. So under animation, we have four options. We have arrow one, arrow two, and arrow three. Now just to show you what that is, as an example, arrow one is this thing. So when I pull this way, you can see there's an arrow that shows you what's going to happen. Okay, so if I bring this in, that's my arrow one animation right here. That's the arrow two animation. Now what we have that is brand new is the arrow three animation that is now customizable. So normally this is what it looks like, that thing right here. But now I can make it larger. Look at this, it's bigger. And I can change the color. Let's just do red so we can see the difference. Look at this. So now that can be my arrow number three that is in fact customizable. I can make it small. Now it's a small arrow, all right? Now it is a big arrow, okay? And again, you can do any color that you want. So that's one of the latest updates. Update number two is, if I go to gesture settings right over here, quick vibration is now gonna be enabled by default. Now the reason this is over here to give you a feedback when you do a swipe gesture input. So when I do this, and if I let it go, there's going to be a quick vibration that's going to be a little feedback that I did something on the screen, okay? Bloop, just felt it. So when you do like this, boom, you're going to feel it, all right? So that's nice. Uh, initially, by default, this was turned off, so it is a little less haptic when you do it, but with this one, you actually get some vibrational feedback so you know you did something. So that's number two. Number three, if you go back over here, it says modified the quick tools color to improve icon visibility. Very important setting. Again, if I go over here and if I go to my left handle, look at this. When I swipe diagonal down, I want the quick tools to pop up, which is this thing right here. So what they did with the latest update is when I do swipe diagonal down and my quick toggles does come up, it is now more visible than before. It's more clear. The colors are more pronounced. Also want to let you know when you pinch the screen, and go to wallpaper and style and go to color palette. Let's pick something different. Let's go with blue, okay? Now look at this. When I do this, and if I bring up my quick tools now with the diagonal down swipe, you can see it's gonna inherit these colors, okay? Uh, all these colors, and it's also gonna be better visible so you can see, th see through the wallpaper in the background. So that's fantastic. That's number three. And then finally, if I go back over to the page, you can see that we have the usual bug fixes and stability improvements to the overall app. So overall, a great update with new features, enhancements, and stability. That's it, guys. 
Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.